But first, he was a teenager when he confessed to a brutal slaying of a classmate. Well, now, from his jail cell, Robert Barnes is asking the court for a trial. Now, Barnes never had a trial in the case of Megan Landowski's death in 2008. Instead, he made a deal pleading guilty to the crime, so he'd spend 42 years in prison instead of life. Well, Katie Collette joins us now with to explain how Barnes wants to get this thrown out, this whole thing thrown out as a plea deal. Yeah, that's right, Alvita and Tom. And this is a copy of Barnes's 30-page petition. In it, he cites unfair treatment by the police, his attorneys, and even his own mother. I think it is a last-ditch effort on his part. The probably the reality of sitting in the penitentiary uh, for the next 40 years, if you live that long, has set in. Portsmouth Commonwealth's attorney Earl Mobley speaking of now 20-year-old Robert Barnes. It was 2008 when Barnes slipped into Megan Landowski's home and murdered her. Ten on Your Side was there as police searched Barnes' Portsmouth home all those years ago. It's the evidence found there, DNA, and Barnes' statement to police that leaves Mobley confident Barnes will have no success petitioning the court for a trial. In this case, you know, I, I can think of nothing that was done improperly. But Barnes claims he can. In his petition, he states his attorneys weren't helpful because they failed to file a motion to suppress his coerced confession. Barnes contends had he received competent advice, he would have insisted on going to trial instead of pleading guilty. Mobley disagrees, saying had it not been for Barnes's attorneys, life in prison was a strong possibility. He had uh, two very, very good attorneys, and he did get the benefit of some bargain there. Uh, he was able to cap his sentence at 42 years. Barnes states after three to four hours of interrogation without an attorney, he felt he had no choice but to answer the detective's questions. Mobley not shaken by this paperwork. I'm very You're confident that we'd prevail mm -hmm. if it was ever taken to trial, but I don't think it's ever going to get that far. He pled guilty and he's going to have to live with that however long that is. Now Barnes also stated his mother sat next to him during the interview and was basically no help to him. I spoke with his mother over the phone today about Barnes' statement and all she would say to me is that she's tired and is going to quote leave all of this alone. No word yet on when the court will make a ruling on Barnes's petition. Katie Collette, 10 on your side. And Barnes is in the Buckingham Correctional Center in Dillwyn, Virginia. He declined our request for an interview. We also reached out to Megan Landowski's family, but they did not respond. To see a full copy of Barnes's petition, go to wavy.com.